So if you don't know, there is an island in the North Sea called the British Isle, and it, it is a place of terror, suffering, despair, hopelessness, and some of the most genuinely psychotic and mentally unwell people on the face of the planet. And they are currently deliberating on if they should restrict their freedoms even more and burden online services with more nonsense for no reason other than to uh, encumber their denizens with suffering and pain that they uh, have already experienced but do not currently receive enough suffering and pain. Um, and they would like to correct that. So here is a live hearing, and I see the green benches. I believe the green benches are where the... Um, the elected representatives of the U. What is it? The Parliament is that what they call it. Um, this is the Parliament of the UK, and they have some fucking freak up to talk about this bill. Um, it's called the Online Safety Bill, and what the UK is trying to do, from what I understand, is try. Uh, depending on the category, is category sites into three categories, and in category one. The services that have what they call harmful speech, which is not illegal must submit to Ofcom, which is the Office of Communications, I believe, because uh, they don't use acronyms in the UK. They use, like, portmanteaus. So instead of saying, like, the, you know, the DOJ or whatever the fuck, they just say Ofcom, uh, which is very fancy. So in the, they want, what they want to do is force Category 1 internet service providers, which they define as being large-reaching websites that have the capacity of hosting offensive content, which is not illegal, to present to Ofcom a transparency report about how they handle abuse reports, effectively forcing companies to have a strategy to reduce harmful yet legal content, which is just incredibly perplexing because I would have no fucking idea what that means. Like, do you want, I'm not deleting uh, harmful material. I'm deleting offensive material that is completely legal. Um, so I, I don't get it. However, it does seem to be highly praised, but there are some concerns because of how it defines a category one service being a large service that has a certain number of users there are certain small but extremely dangerous internet services out there which should be classified as Category 1. Let's hear the argument now. Just lastly on the amendments um, that we have here, I want to talk about the Amendment 50, which is in relation to the risk of harm. Um, this is still one of the biggest issues that there are with the bill is about the categorization of platforms. So the categorization of platforms is on the basis of the size of the platform uh, and the, the risk of the features. So the size of the platform is the key thing. The number of users that there are on that platform is the key thing. It fails to take into account the incredibly harmful, very small platforms that there are. This amendment, um, Amendment 50, is about giving Ofcom the power to require platforms who are incredibly harmful, who are incel forums, for example, who are places like Kiwi Farms, which are entirely set up in order to dox trans people and put their lives at risk. Um, I have breached the parliament. British people, I am now inside your parliament. I am sitting on your comfy green benches. I am sitting there with my legs crossed, tapping my foot inside your parliament. You cannot get rid of me now. It is about allowing Ofcom to say, well, we're going to put that as a category one platform. We are going to require that it meets the category one um, rules, that it meets the risk assessments, that it does all of those things that are required of category one. Because we should be asking these platforms to answer for what they are doing, no matter how few members they have on their, on their social media platform, on whatever it is that they are using, no matter how small their user base is, one person being radicalised on those platforms is one person too many. And this is not an extreme um, amendment saying we should ban all of these. I mean, Think we probably should, but this is not an extreme. I, I don't have the capacity to ban those websites, but we probably probably should. Uh, and then goes on to say, let's just annoy them enough that they're effectively banned. Because I guess I don't know what the the penalty is for not complying with Ofcom's cate category one 
uh, compliance re- requirements. I guess they just ban you from England, which I don't consider a downside. I guess all you fuckers have to invest in a VPN until they make that illegal too, as a category one danger to democracy and to minority protections and shit. 